it's raining <laughs> can you see it is raining oh my goodness it is supposed to be summer at the moment but it doesn't feel like summer at all it certainly doesn't doesn't look like summer <laughs> oh what a morning what a day what a day to be on YouTube trying to do a live stream and not having much success what a strange strange summer's day <laughs> it is supposed to be summer by the way welcome to summer in England <laughs> isn't that good I'm just waiting for the live chat to load so just a moment oh by the way there are captions today because I'm using my studio camera outside today there are captions yes so you can have captions today all you have to do is press C on your keyboard and you will have captions captions wherever you go very nice come on quickly I want it to load have you noticed when you want something to happen fast it doesn't and when you want something not to happen fast it does and that's what's happening at the moment live chat where are you oh there you are thank you very much for joining me today the live chat is now up and running good nice to see you here hello Vitas Reza Mosen also we have Palmyra here today thank you for joining me Palmyra nice to see you here as well I've just realized I've forgotten my water I haven't brought my water outside so if I start coughing and sneezing you will know why sadly I don't have my <laughs> my lovely water so I might have to go back to the house to fetch the water in a moment hello to the live chat this is something unusual if you were watching yesterday I also did a live stream in the garden the weather yesterday was much nicer than it is today to be honest it's awful today the weather is terrible it does not feel like summer I will be honest with you it definitely does not feel like summer today yes you can have captions if you are watching right now on the live stream you can have captions press C on your keyboard I will mention that a couple of times because yesterday quite a few people complained they said mr. Duncan we want captions please can we have live captions so they are available today sorry I'm late I know I was supposed to be here at two o'clock but I'm slightly late due to technology problems problems with the weather of course although I can't complain really at least at the moment I am undercover I'm in my little gazebo safe and sound so we don't have to worry too much today because I am in my gazebo that's why I'm not getting wet you see in fact I feel quite hot now I feel quite warm standing here hello Florence I can't read your messages but I can listen to you mr. Duncan unfortunately I am going out with my dog you are going to take your dog for a walk I hope you have a nice time hello Florence I hope the weather is better <laughs> where you are I really do hello also to Beatrice Kate Gann hello Kate Gann I haven't seen you for a long time I always like to say hello especially if I haven't seen you for a while excuse me I'm just adjusting my camera slightly that's better hello Mercedes are you Ricky mr. Duncan Ricky I don't know what you mean by that <laughs> hello Mercedes Fernandez hello also Lil hello Dolly Dang oh by the way I found out 
the name of the yellow flower so if we look just over there you can see some yellow flowers I will try to move my camera it isn't easy but if you look there can you see there are some yellow flowers I have actually found out the name of those flowers I promised I would do it and I have done it so I will give you the name of those flowers a little bit later on because now I know what the name is isn't that lovely Mr Duncan you are younger than yesterday really I don't know how that's possible <laughs> how can I look younger than yesterday maybe I had a good night's sleep I think so perhaps last night perhaps I had a nice sleep in fact I did I had a lovely sleep last night very sound so when you have a good sleep we can say that you slept soundly you had a lovely sleep so maybe that's the reason why I look so fresh today who knows I'm not quite sure oh Mercedes Mercedes Fernandez it's very hot where you are it's not hot here it's wet gloomy cloudy gray <laughs> everything that you can use to describe negative weather you can use today to describe the English weather right now yes my name is Duncan hi everybody I hope you are okay today we have made it to Tuesday I am doing these unusual live streams for a very special reason because during this month I am celebrating four years of doing live streams so I have been here live for four years and of course with my recorded lessons I've been doing this for almost 14 years hello Malia so today it's general chit chat talking about general things tomorrow we will have our English addict live in the studio tomorrow because it looks as if this rain is going to continue for the rest of the week apparently they've said today tomorrow and the rest of the week it is going to rain every day <laughs> so that's good <laughs> to say the least it does not feel like summer it does not feel like summer at all hello Donna hello also to Anna Rita hello Anna Rita thank you for joining me today you can have live captions if you want you you can have live captions so I'm just waiting for some of you to join I know a lot of people are joining late some people don't join my live stream straight away they normally come a little bit later so don't worry about that hello to Prakash the background looks amazing thank you very much the garden is having a very nice water today the rain is going to make all of the ground nice and soft and also I'm sure the plants and the trees will be very pleased to have some lovely fresh rain falling on them I think so your jacket is so great oh thank you very much this is quite old actually this is around five years old I bought this in the sale I got it very cheap Ooh, I was very pleased sometimes when you go shopping especially when there are sales sometimes you can find a good bargain so I do like going shopping when there are sales not always I don't go shopping a lot but but I do like going for something that I really need such as a coat or maybe a new hat hmm is your background real or is it actual nature no this is not a photograph the background at the moment is not a photograph I can prove it by walking into the background you will see that this is not a photograph this is real this is the garden at the moment here in England 
live. Ooh. You see? So yes, this is real and now and now I'm wet. <laughs> I'm also wet. Yes. <laughs> this is definitely real. Everything you are watching now is real including my wet clothes. <laughs> yes, it shows that this is real. Thank you very much. Thank you for believing me. <laughs> Someone says maybe this is a 3D image i wish it was <laughs> and then i could be in the studio nice and warm i think this is one of the most famous gardens in the uk i'm not sure about that either sandra is here hello mr duncan i've just finished seeing your class number three it was very nice and i'm still with you now what a joy to hear it thank you Sandra Gonzalez thank you very much for your lovely message don't forget also you can have live captions now so as I'm talking to you here live you can see what I'm actually wearing wearing saying as well of course you can see what I'm wearing also oh do you like my shirt I got this very cheap from a friend <laughs> who was selling them one of mr. Steve's work colleagues had some of these so he sold one to Steve and he gave it to me isn't that nice <laughs> are you new over here Mahila hello Mahila nice to see you here as well Beatrice says I love the rain sound the rain is definitely falling now in fact it's been falling all day it hasn't stopped last night it was raining as well I think it's been raining for the past 20 hours without stopping so we are having a lot of rain at the moment but yes some people do like listening to the rain they like the sound of the rain falling especially when the rain is falling on the window maybe or hitting the window or maybe it is falling on the roof of the house or maybe the sound of the rain falling on the leaves so you can hear at the moment the sound of the rain falling on the roof of my little gazebo it's a nice shirt yes I got it cheap only five pounds some people say mr. Duncan you are a bit of a cheapskate you don't seem to like spending money on things well as I said a couple of days ago I don't spend money on things I don't need so if I don't need it I don't buy it but sometimes you have to buy things you have to buy things you need especially clothing you see so all of this clothing is not only old this is about five years ago this is about two years this hat is also around two years old so all of this is actually old clothing N none of this is new <laughs> especially the person wearing the clothes I am definitely not new <laughs> I'm definitely second-hand <laughs> I think so I can hear the rain yes you can you can hear the rain because it is raining at the moment it is a very wet miserable day here in England at the moment yes a person who buys things or sometimes might appear not to enjoy spending money we can describe them as a
I like this one <laughs> a cheapskate a person who is a cheapskate is a person who doesn't like spending money very often mr. Duncan I have a question when we say it draws your attention what does draw mean in this sense thank you Sally well the word draw can be used in different ways you see so draw as an action can be the action of actually creating a, a picture by hand you draw something draw can also mean take something out so maybe a cupboard in your bedroom maybe there is a drawer so when you use a drawer you pull the drawer towards you towards you something is moving towards you you open the drawer drawer also if something gets your attention quite often you will look closely at it it will draw your attention something will draw your attention you can also draw attention to something so you are trying to get a person to look at something you want to draw their attention to something behind you maybe you are trying to get a person to understand a certain topic you are trying to draw their attention to a certain issue or a certain topic I want to draw your attention to the current situation here in Europe I want to draw your attention to that thing I want to bring you closer I want to explain it differently or I want to explain something you might not know I want your attention what is a miser a miser is a person who doesn't like spending money they like to keep their money but they don't like spending the money and I suppose cheapskate is very similar but a cheapskate will never spend much money on items they will always try to find things that are cheap they will always buy the things that are the cheapest thing but I don't think I'm a cheapskate I don't think I'm a cheap skate at all sometimes I, I like to just wear my clothes if the clothing is okay then I wear it for example this coat is perfectly all right so I will carry on wearing it until it falls to pieces this hat is quite nice I like this hat this shirt is very nice even though it only cost five pounds <laughs> and I've had this for over two years you see your garden always draws my attention <laughs> don't you want to invite me to your garden you can you can come in and explore my garden if you want you can have a look at some of the plants oh talking of which I have found out the name of I have found out the name of the plant who remembers the plant that it, we were looking at yesterday so the name of the plant the yellow plant is called a loose strife loose strife it's a very strange very strange name it is a large yellow loose strife what a strange name yes I agree it is a weird name but that is what it's called so the yellow flower I will show you again quickly the yellow flower over there I now have the name of that flower it is called a loose strife <laughs> it's a very weird name but that is what it's called so now we know there is no more mystery surrounding that yellow plant that we were looking at yesterday no more mystery meanwhile here on the live chat oh hello to everyone on the live stream very nice to see you here today hello to Dana hello Dana 
so now we know what they are called i will put it on the live chat if i can get it to work which it isn't <laughs> i don't know why it's not working suddenly it is called a yellow loose strife loose strife i hope i can get it to come up on the screen here we go i'll try again loose strife Do, do, do. Hmm. That is it. That's what it's called. Yes. It is a loose strife. Loose strife. So that is the name of the yellow flower. I will try to find out the names of other flowers in my garden as well, because there are many in the garden. And some of them I don't know the names of. So I will try to do that. Apparently, yes, across Europe, you can find that yellow flower. And I believe certain parts of Asia as well. You will see that yellow flower. It is a beautiful flower. And you will often see it during summertime. Hello to Arnima. Hello, Arnima Poetry with tea lover oh i see you like tea me too hello there i'm a new friend hello to you and welcome i hope you are okay <laughs> thank you also to lena hello lena my name is pranav jindal nice to see you here as well so many people are now chatting on the live stream thank you very much this is just my very casual spontaneous live stream so normally you can find me on sunday wednesday and friday so that is when i'm normally here on youtube but today we are doing some special live streams because it's july and this month on the 15th of july i will be celebrating my fourth year of doing live streams four years ago I started doing them <laughs> Saeed says you have many Iranians who love you if you come to Iran you will not be a stranger oh I see thank you very much and a big hello to everyone watching in Iran nice to see you here as well <laughs> our Nima has offered a cup of tea to me I must be honest I really feel as if I need a cup of tea at the moment because my throat is quite sore because of hay fever. <laughs> Hello, Pedro. Oh, Pedro. Pedro Belmont is here today. Very nice to see you here. Hello also to Mar. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I often see the word climax and another word of culminating in the Oxford textbooks climax is the end of something so it may be a piece of music if you are if you are listening to a piece of classical music and you are listening to the end piece as it begins to come to an end if you are watching or listening to an orchestra then yes that's what will happen the end normally will come do 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 come to a climax so the end of it the end of something will come to a climax it is the end of something as it comes to a crescendo oh that's another one i suppose you could say crescendo as well something that builds up to a high point but we all always see climax as the ending of something as something comes to an end so i hope that answers your question i won't be here much longer says pedro okay then well if you can spend a few times or a few moments here a short while maybe very nice hello also chera hello also to 
soupy can you please explain spill the tea well I, I don't think that's an expression but there is an expression that, that goes spill the beans you can spill the beans which means to reveal a secret or maybe something that is being hidden away perhaps your friend has told you a secret and they said please don't spill the beans if you spill the beans it means you reveal a secret maybe another person's secret or maybe a secret that you have yourself you spill the beans you give the information come on spill the beans tell me everything we could also say let the cat out of the bag which has a very definite meaning so if you let the cat out of the bag it means you have revealed something that has been hidden or is a secret spill the beans reveal something you reveal some information or you give information to someone hello eduardo good morning mr duncan hello to you my name is eduardo from peru you have a beautiful and lively garden it is at the moment oh i think i think the rain has stopped wow i can't believe it i think the rain has stopped hello to oh i see eduardo says i wish you could have a go i wish i can have a garden but i don't because i don't have a house i just rent well maybe later you can have your own house with a garden always think big dream big hello also to luis mendez hello luis thanks for joining me you have missed all of the excitement of the rain Fortunately, the rain has now finished. It's ended. For a short while, anyway. Uh, what is the difference between movie and film? Movie and film, they are basically the same thing. However, movie is often used in American English and film is often used in British English. However, these days, movie and film tend to be used in the same amount yes so movie and film are the same thing you go to see a movie you go to see a film you go to the cinema to see a movie you go to the movies to see a film hello to tomek oh hello tomek nice to see you here as well welcome to the garden today i'm in the garden and it's a wet one we've had a wet day and apparently it's going to stay wet all week it does not feel like summer i'm going to be honest with you today it's only around the temperature oh i see the temperature today is around 17 17 degrees the weather the temperature that's not very good is it <laughs> so it isn't very warm today it's damp and it does not feel like summer i'll be honest with you dirty varmint hello dirty varmint welcome <laughs> i love your name by the way if we ever say that someone is a dirty varmint it is it is a bit of an insult really to be honest with you whoa nice garden dude thank you very much it's very kind of you to say so mother nature is taking care of the garden today because we've had about 20 hours of rain the rain has been falling all night and all day so at the moment the garden is very well watered i think so ns hello ns mohammed mr duncan what do you do daily well there are many things i do every day i suppose the things i do every day are very similar to the things you do every day i wake up in the morning i have my breakfast 
I clean my teeth I wash my face I put on my clothes there you go pretty similar sometimes I have to do some chores I have to wash my clothes I have to clean the house you see <sighs> please can you read my comment says Muaz Muaz Zuhani hello to you thank you for joining Ponus says awesome place thank you very much if you are wondering where I am at the moment I'm actually standing in England so you're watching a live stream coming to you live from my little garden in England. The place I live in is called Much Wenlock. You can look it up on Google and wave to me from space. Hello, Mr. Duncan. The temperature here normally, I suppose today, it is supposed to be about 24, maybe 25 degrees. But no, it is only 17 degrees or 17 Celsius at the moment. It does not feel like summer at all. That's all I can say. Where is this place? As I just mentioned, it is Much Wenlock in England. You can look it up. I will I will actually type it in to the live chat. Is that OK? There we go. That is the name of the place I am standing in at the moment. It is in the countryside. It is a rural town, a town that you would describe as rural. I love that word, something that is rural. It is normally far from the cities and large towns normally surrounded by many fields farmland forests so the place i live at the moment is in the countryside i suppose that is how you describe it some people say the countryside you could describe this as a rural area it is in the country Yes, the climax of something is the peak or the ending the, as something comes to an end. There is a climax. Sir, please show me around the place. Well, I can't show you at the moment because my big camera is fixed. <laughs> so I can't move my camera very far, I'm afraid. Mario Mario Tolge says in Ireland it is also 17 degrees yes I think the weather over the UK including Ireland as well I think it's it's all pretty dull and dismal you look great in this attire or clothes thank you very much this is all old clothing I don't like spending money on clothes. This is something I've spoken about before. I never buy things unless they are falling to pieces completely. Can you, Mr. Duncan, how can you do highlight the chat? How can I do it? Well, I, I'm just actually... Uh, I don't know what you mean by that actually but I can type because I have a little device under here now this is something that I've been experimenting with you see so I can use my fingers besides talking to you here on the screen I can also go down there as well and talk to you like this <laughs> hello everybody like that you see hello to can I say hello to Linda hello Linda Linda bowling do you enjoy bowling I remember many years ago when I was in Malaysia we went bowling 
and I hurt my fingers I, I, I don't know why but I think the bowling ball the holes were too big so when I put my fingers inside the, 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 the ball was moving too much and I ended up injuring my, all of my fingers for many days afterwards I couldn't move my fingers it's not very nice also I wasn't very good at it as well I wasn't very good my bowling ball would always go yep, yep. it would never go down the middle apparently that is the hardest part of of playing bowling when you bowl your ball the idea is to knock down all of the pins <laughs> but I wasn't very good at it I think it's called the gutter so the gutter is the edge of the, the 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 bowling area so my ball would always end up in the gutter the gutter on either side it's very hard it's not it looks easy I don't know about you but I always think sometimes certain sports look very easy to play but it but they, they're not golf golf is another one <laughs> golf is is a game that I've tried to play but I'm rubbish at it so I don't play it I don't know why <laughs> Naveen Kumar is here hello Naveen nice to see you here on the live stream that rhymes I am a poet and I didn't know it hello also to to Red Eric oh Red Eric says from Russia with love I don't mind if you do Privet to you hello to you Holland is here Anna Kobe hello Anna Kobe nice to see you back I haven't seen you for a long time yesterday when I did my live stream yesterday a lot of people were joining me who I haven't heard from for a long time I haven't heard from many of you for a long time so I was quite surprised and delighted it put a big smile on my face hello Ram Mohan could you please explain esoteric something that is esoteric is something that only a certain group of people will understand so if you are talking about a particular subject in a certain way perhaps only certain people who have knowledge of that thing will understand it so an esoterical conversation normally involves people talking about a specialist subject that other people might not understand so they will feel left out so an, an esoteric conversation something about a particular subject that certain people will have knowledge of it does happen sometimes you might be with a group of people and suddenly they talk they start talking about a certain thing but you have no no experience of it so you might say that they are talking in an esoteric way they are using a particular type of language or certain words that you don't understand or you don't know the meaning of I hope that explains that one your brain is like a dictionary <laughs> sometimes when my brain works it works very well when my brain doesn't work <laughs> I sometimes think maybe I will be taken away to the scrap heap and I will be thrown onto the scrap heap what is the name of much Wenlock's newspaper asks Saeed we do have a newspaper that is published locally here in much Wenlock and we call it the Wenlock Herald <laughs> the Wenlock Herald and it's published every month so there is one new copy or issue of the Wenlock Herald every month so that is all the local news all of the local information about what is happening around here Lewis oh hello Lewis Monoz hello to you I entered the live chat because of the hot days hey mr. Duncan do not mind the hour or day or statistics I entered today because of the climate 
that's okay whatever the reason <laughs> you want to join me whatever the reason is where whatever it is it could be any reason maybe you have nothing to do maybe you have done all of your chores and you have nothing to do maybe you want to sit down and have a cup of tea and listen to me at the same time so yeah, who knows any excuse is a good excuse <laughs> rolando hello from peru is your speaking speed like this or is it because of us no this is how i speak <laughs> normally i'm not speaking slowly because well someone might think there was something wrong with me maybe like a record that is being played at the wrong speed but this is how i speak normally when i meet people in the street this is how i address them so i'm not speaking slowly because of you this is how i normally speak what is the difference between lockdown and when lock well they are completely different words Wenlock is the name of the place in which i live lockdown means to be sealed off or kept in a certain place or to have your movement or freedom restricted in some way and as we know many people recently have been enduring the lockdown situation not very nice what types of tea are there in england there are many different types of tea my favorite tea is earl grey i love it earl grey tea it has a nice smoky flavor and also it is slightly sweet as well i do like earl grey i also like assam as well but there are many different types of tea you can actually find lovely shops here in england that actually sell lots and lots of different types of fresh tea so yes i do like tea i also like coffee as well maha saeed do you know the sos schools founded by the british government in many countries around the world i suppose when you say sos do you mean emergency so maybe there are schools that are created or formed in places where things are not good i think that's what you mean when we talk about sos normally we mean an emergency we are expressing an emergency of some sort saska hello saska i have to admit that i am really an english addict thank you so much mr duncan and the world family class community thank you saska that's very nice of you to say well that's the reason why i come here <laughs> and during july i will be doing some special live streams like this so this is actually not my usual live stream this is something different something unusual but i will be back with you tomorrow i will be here from 2 p.m uk time tomorrow with my usual english addict live stream from in the studio so tomorrow i will be back in the studio and everything will be more normal <laughs> whatever normal is hello to hello osama al al shawesh hello mr duncan it is my first time to join you on the live stream hello osama nice to see you here as well i wish i had my lovely round of applause so all i can do is this yeah. welcome if it is your first time please let me know <laughs> and you too can have a round of applause but sadly it's only me doing it i am so excited because of you pedro oh pedro what have you done you have done something to get saeed excited maybe it's your new hairstyle i think so i think it might have something to do with pedro's new hair hello to oh hello four people hello four people are you a teacher sir yes i talk about i teach 
and i i often do live streams and recorded lessons concerning the english language i am an english addict i can't resist talking about english i love english <laughs> i live and breathe english when i wake up in the morning i think of as many words as i can in the morning when i wake up so yes i am i am quite <laughs> quite interested in english i think it would be very safe to say hello saska it is so special to be in the stream live i am enjoying it that's okay i suppose it feels very strange to be here live so i am standing here now it is three o'clock in the uk i will just show you my watch so you can see the time there it is so as you can see it is now three o'clock in the afternoon in the uk Luis mendez says we have had a new government since yesterday what in in france really i haven't heard about that i know i know there have been a lot of changes politically in certain countries i think is it mumbai or mawali i think they've just had a change of government as well <laughs> we might be having one here <laughs> if things get any worse <laughs> we might we might suddenly have a change of government here in the uk who knows who knows <laughs> hello dolly dang dolly dang i haven't seen you for a long time either today is a bad day it is raining heavily so we cannot see the stars in the sky dolly guess what it's the same here we have no sunshine no blue sky today it's rain rain and gray clouds all day right now in english in the birthplace of the english language yes this is england hello to you i hope you are feeling good today i do miss traveling i'm going to be honest with you this is something i said the other day i really feel a little sad that i can't travel around and visit lots of different places however over the next few weeks i think things are going to slowly change so i am looking forward to actually traveling a little bit around the uk and visiting some of the places that i love to go to but at the moment sadly i can't unfortunately maher saeed says mr duncan do people who work for the courts in england get good payment how about the teachers payment how much is the teachers payment approximately if a teacher is working in a school i think well if you start off as a teacher the the salary or the payment is not great in fact for many years teachers in the uk or certainly in england often complain and they protest about how badly they are paid so i wouldn't say that if you are a teacher in secondary school or primary school i don't think the pay is very good if i was honest so that is as blunt as i can be however if you work in the courts which is concerned with law so when we talk about the courts we mean, we mean places where people go on trial or people are, are tried because of a, a crime that they've committed so yes i i think if you do that you can be paid very well lawyers wow if you are a lawyer and you are a qualified lawyer you can be paid quite handsomely quite well so yes if you are a lawyer especially if you are very good at your job you can be paid a lot of money but teachers it is a well-known fact that teachers quite often are underpaid underpaid 
they do not earn as much as they probably should <laughs> hello ultra instinct i'm back hello ultra instinct nice to see you back again after yesterday yes it is raining because i can hear it dripping anyway please give me a shout out and i still think what you do is amazing thank you ultra instinct very nice of you to join me nice to see you joining in today thank you very much <laughs> oh can i say hello to mika mika ode watching in japan i was watching some terrible news footage some video footage coming from japan this morning there have been some terrible storms which have caused widespread flooding in certain parts of japan and many people have lost their lives many people have been affected by that so can i say hello to all my friends in japan and i'm thinking of you at the moment i did see the pictures this morning the weather at the moment in japan not very nice right now hello maik make or meek mo who says ni hao <laughs> hello to you or ni hao ni hao to you are you in china hello also mr boombastic says jade do you mean me i'm not sure if i am mr boombastic but thank you very much anyway for your compliment i do appreciate it Mikel victorine asks when will you have instagram well i do have instagram already but i don't use it very often i sometimes put things on instagram and i do have around 1000 people following on instagram but I don't put many things on Instagram as I said a few weeks ago I think Instagram is for young people not for people like me <laughs> I sometimes find myself feeling too old for certain platforms including Instagram and twitch as well yesterday I actually signed up with a twitch account so yes i'm i'm on twitch <laughs> even though i don't play video games does that make any sense i think not wow so many messages are coming through now i don't play cricket i will be honest with you i don't play cricket thank you abam mr duncan my best regards to you from oman thank you very much thanks for the tremendous effort and the uniqueness in teaching english thank you very much that's very kind of you to say so i always do things differently <laughs> even at school i always always remember one of my teachers at the end of the school term they would always write a report about your behavior and i always remember one of my teachers saying duncan's methods are unusual but they still achieve success my methods are unusual <laughs> so that actually appeared on one of my reports from from one of my teachers at school and they said his methods are unusual but he always you know gets the job done <laughs> he finds a way of doing things I was never sure if that was a compliment or a criticism i never knew but apparently looking back i know now that it was a compliment which is nice hello to tran tao oh yes there is there is a word in vietnamese yes you are right chin shao chin shao means hello chin chow that is hello in vietnamese flower espoir is here wow many people are now joining in with the live chat hello flower we are waiting for the airport to be reopened to travel to morocco 
and spend summer but the problem is we are afraid that the lockdown will return well this is something that many people are talking about now here in the UK especially here in England at the weekend so last weekend many bars pubs restaurants all opened their doors again but already there have been some new cases of some people who have been going into the pubs and bars they've tested positive so already we are closing some of the pubs and some of the bars we are closing them already <laughs> and we we only opened them two days ago so already things are going wrong <laughs> who knows who knows what will happen but I do miss traveling I must be honest I really feel as if I want to go away somewhere here in maybe here in England or maybe I could travel to Wales and have a nice time in Wales that would be nice that would be nice Mr. Duncan what inspired you to start all of this streaming because I want to start but I don't have any ideas if you are going to do a live stream or if you are going to make videos on YouTube first of all you have to have an interest in something so I always say if you want to do something creative write down the things that you are interested in so maybe there is a certain thing that you have an interest in maybe you are interested in movies or maybe music or maybe you are interested in technology so those are the things that you might talk about in your videos so normally if you want to do something if you want to give a live stream like this you normally have to have some subject and quite often my advice would be use something that you know about or something that you enjoy something you enjoy doing hello to jolen hello jolen jolen safe who is watching in philippines hello philippines how are things there at the moment i hope they're okay i have seen on tv that the british pubs are drink people are drinking beer and also prince william <laughs> the queen's grandson was also drinking beer it's true it's true we told him we said Prince William don't drink beer because all of your hair will fall out and he didn't listen he did not listen and now you can see the result unfortunately <laughs> hello <laughs> hello cow uh, cow dang fam hello to you I believe you are watching at the moment in Vietnam as well yes Vietnam is here hello Vietnam hello also Aswin what is the difference between optimistic and pessimistic well when we say optimistic a person who is optimistic always looks on the bright side the positive side I'm an optimistic person tomorrow is a new day new opportunities so even though things went wrong today I have another day tomorrow and maybe things will be better I always try to be optimistic I try to look on the bright side of life pessimistic of course is the antonym it is the opposite so a pessimistic person always looks on the downside on the dark side <laughs> it's raining I can't go out oh, it's going to rain for the rest of the week oh, there's no point going outside today no point I might as well stay in bed pessimistic you are always looking on the negative side you are always looking on the dark side 
the down side pessimistic optimistic pessimistic optimist optimistic I'm an optimistic person I always think tomorrow will be a better day than today <laughs> Eduardo says yes me too I always try to be optimistic I think it's very important to have optimism the thing that describes that feeling optimism optimism is looking ahead with a positive mind I think so Saeed says my next destiny is Holland so Saeed is thinking of going to the Netherlands I've actually been to Amsterdam a couple of times Amsterdam is a brilliant place they have some wonderful places to to eat drink you have the lovely canals everything is very serene and very laid back and they have these lovely trams ding ding in Amsterdam Amsterdam is a nice place I've been there a couple of times I went there I think it was in maybe 1993 or 1994 I went to Amsterdam for a wedding one of one of our friends was getting married and we went all the way to Amsterdam <laughs> quite a long way <laughs> to travel just to attend a wedding I think so Anna says yes you might see the glass as half full or half empty so yes there is that is a way of looking at a person's mood or maybe the way they see life some people look on the bright side and they see the glass is half full some people look on the downside or the dark side and they see the glass is half empty Zuzika says I have to go now I have some chores to do me too I, I also have to do some chores so after I finish this I can't have a rest I can't lie down on the floor and have a nice sleep I have to do some chores so I have a very busy day still ahead unfortunately hello to the footballer hello the footballer I think maybe you like football am I right last year by the way talking of Ronaldo guess who was having a party outside a hotel I was staying in last year in Portugal Ronaldo he was there with all of the his Portuguese football colleagues yes they were having a big party because one one member of the football team were actually that they, they had got married earlier in the day and they were up all night having a disco dance playing loud music Cristiano Ronaldo and all of his friends <laughs> and they kept me awake all night hello Mary Roma mr. Duncan I am Mary from Roma this is my first live stream I've been watching you for a week thank you to the YouTube algorithms thank you very much sometimes YouTube can bring many people to my channel and sometimes they can keep them away as well <laughs> thank you Mary and my special round of applause for you being here for the first time nice to see you here today great great thank you Mary thank you also Eduardo mr. Duncan what about Spain have you been to Spain I've never been to Spain it is a place I would like to visit I would love to go there in the summer and experience Spanish sunlight Spanish summer I imagine it must be very nice 
ram mohan asks are you a big fan of manchester united i don't follow football i'm not a big sports person to be honest i don't follow football or cricket or tennis i don't really follow football at all hello zero zero spagnulo hello to you good afternoon mr duncan i am here now from piazenza in italy hello to italy nice to see you here as well wow so many people are here hello also burak burak asks what team do you support i don't support any team because i don't follow football if you just joined me and you are wondering what is this who is this strange man staring at me from my computer device my name is duncan i'm in england i'm an english teacher i talk about the english language and i'm doing something unusual today i'm doing a spontaneous stream i will be here tomorrow with my usual live stream so tomorrow which is wednesday i will be here from 2 p.m uk time in the studio everything will be normal tomorrow <laughs> i won't be standing outside in the rain so don't worry about that benjaloon hello benjaloon what is the name of your watch oh i see do you mean this this watch this is a watch that is made in lithuania <laughs> can you believe it so this watch that you are looking at now i will turn it round so you can see it so that watch was made in lithuania it is a lithuanian made watch the company is called vostok vostok which i believe originates from russia so there we go i love my little watch steve gave this to me for my birthday a while ago i was very surprised to receive this watch from mr steve and as you can see it is now 23 minutes past three o'clock on a tuesday afternoon here in england a very wet england raining cats and mice oh i see the pie train says i hate to say it but i'm dropping english language tomorrow you're dropping it why what's happened are you having difficulty learning english or maybe you've become bored perhaps learning english maybe it's boring for you oh i'm sorry to hear that i'm very sorry to hear that you are dropping english pedro constantino cruz says hello i'm from brazil and i want to study in the uk what do you think about that if you want to come here to study there are two things you need well i suppose there are one there there are more than two things <laughs> maybe a dozen things but there are two things you need first of all you need some qualifications in english you can't come to england to study if you have no qualifications of english so you must pass one of the major tests one of the exams toefl and well there are many actually else as well so you need to be able to speak english and you must be able to prove it as well the rules have become quite strict over the past few years here in the uk for people who want to come here to study the rules have become very strict it is becoming harder and harder to come here to study which i think is a shame really i think it's quite sad hello sandra thanks mr duncan it is a lovely surprise see you tomorrow thank you sandra yes i will be here tomorrow everything will be normal <laughs> i don't know what normal is but i will be here tomorrow and everything will be normal in the studio we will be looking at 
some interesting English words we will be playing the sentence game tomorrow as well so everything will be back to normal tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time I will be in the studio the tie the pie train hello the pie train again English is okay but I would like to focus on other subjects well I think you are right there yes I suppose I can see your point of view because learning English can take up a lot of time so yes I, I, I can see your point I can see your point I think you are very lovely says Lan Lanthi Lanthi Hang watching in Vietnam hello to you as well Mr Duncan what do you think how I can speak English well speaking English is something you have to learn over time you can't rush these things as I said yesterday most people start by learning words so normally you have to listen to English and then you read English you learn new words you listen to other people using English and then after a while as your confidence grows you will start speaking English so I always say first of all when you start learning English you have to learn some words the words have to come first and then slowly you will learn all of the other skills including speaking in fact a lot of people say that speaking English is the hardest part of learning English speaking because it's like performing it's like going on stage and performing I think so hello Lek Lee Leet Mr Duncan I just dropped in to say hello but I am late for work I will catch you later I will watch you later that's all right this live stream will be available later you can watch this again later on no problem have you posted anything on twitch not yet <laughs> not yet so I created my twitch account yesterday but I haven't posted anything on there I'm not even sure what I'm going to post because I don't play video games <laughs> maybe I could pretend to play video games maybe I could put myself on the screen in front of someone else's gameplay <laughs> and I can be pretending to play the game is that a good idea I think that's a good idea actually although the only problem is I wouldn't know what I was talking about <laughs> because I don't play computer games oh I'm, I'm playing Fortnite at the moment it's a really good game yes Fortnite. I like playing Fortnite. I don't think I would last very long speaking is like performing it is it is you are showing a part of yourself that is unusual to hear or see so when a person speaks when you are saying something especially to a lot of people then it is a little bit like performing on stage I think so but as I always say the more you do it the more you enjoy it and the more you enjoy it the more you want to do it and over time you will love English so much you will want to use it all the time <laughs> try to understand try to understand don't write Vietnamese because everybody in class won't understand what you say oh I see that's okay don't worry about that don't worry sometimes when when a person is new here maybe they will use their their own language first of all but normally we speak English here we use English on the live chat and also I use English as well happy day hello happy day I haven't seen you for a long time a lot of people are joining me after a long absence Zoe hello Zoe thank you for your 
thank you for your lovely message and your icon hello ram mohan can you create a video to discuss <laughs> hello mr blackbird are you okay it's mr blackbird just saying hello can you create videos discussing in schools and about a child's progress i think that's a good point actually yes well i normally so most of the people who watch my lessons are normally of an older age <laughs> normally over the age of maybe 20 24 so the average age of people watching this is around 18 to 55 <laughs> that's a very big demographic a very big demographic <laughs> yes the bird the bird just came to say hello did you say hello back <laughs> hello lan hang what is the epidemic situation in your country everything is slowly becoming normal but things are still serious in cer certain parts of the UK. Things are still bad. But we are all trying to move on. That is what is happening now. Even though some of the advice that we've been given by the government is a little confusing. So some people don't really know what to do. Should we stay at home? Should we go out? Can we still meet other people? So I think sometimes the, the message here in the UK is a little confusing a little confusing I think so yes that was a blackbird flying overhead it was saying hello <laughs> I can hear it now hello hello mr. blackbird are you singing a song for us that's nice I know in certain countries things are not good concerning you know what things are not good yes I believe South America is still suffering quite badly Brazil I saw something last night mentioning Brazil also some places it has actually returned so in some places i think in certain parts of europe that they, they actually released the lockdown but in some places they have actually brought it back again so yes and this is what they are saying now in the uk they are saying that it might come back here so over the next few weeks we might find that we are back in lockdown who knows who knows hello bar Ann. Hello, Bar An. Xin chào, Mr. Duncan. Xin chào to you as well. Hello in Vietnamese. Very nice. Communication. When you talk about communicating, I, I, I guess you mean speaking. It is the hardest part. That is something very important to remember. It is very hard to speak especially when you are, you already have another language in your head but you want to speak english so yes it is it is a hard thing to do but the more you practice the more you will enjoy it i think so saeed says mr duncan you can be a bridge for lovers <laughs> is that a good emotion oh i suppose you mean maybe people can meet on here and maybe they can fall in love on my channel that is okay no problem as long as I can come to the wedding that's my only thing that I would ask can I come to the wedding so if you do meet the girl of your dreams or the boy of your dreams on here you must invite me to the wedding I must be able to to, to come to your wedding <laughs> I must Michael Michael Victorine says listening to English is the hardest part for me I think so some people find it very hard to listen especially when a person has an accent 
so maybe if a person has a certain type of accent or maybe they're talking too quickly maybe they are talking too fast maybe that's what's happening uh don't jump off my question do you think those who work as interpreters in the courts get good payment i'm not sure about interpreters i don't really know much about that particular field to be honest i've never been an interpreter but i would imagine it is not a stable job maybe you don't always have work so perhaps they don't always need an interpreter so maybe you will only be needed sometimes so it depends really it depends how you are paid if you are paid for the job or maybe you are paid for each individual thing that you do so I'm not really sure I've never really looked into that to be honest I haven't yes I want a wedding if you get married if you meet someone on here and you get married you must you must invite me to the wedding please hello Imi hello also to <laughs> Eduardo who thinks it is very funny if someone falls in love on here anything can happen anything can happen maybe two people come on here to chat and then suddenly they get to know each other and who knows who knows where it will lead the path of true love can sometimes appear by surprise I think so Fabian Sain says yes you are quite hilarious I would definitely invite you to my wedding if I find a girl here who might be interested in marrying me okay then that's a deal that is a deal okay I must come to your wedding if you find the love of your life here today I must be able to come to the wedding I'm going to get a drink of water if you don't mind I would like a drink of water can I get a drink of water please I will be back in a moment that's better oh that feels so much better so much better I have my water now my throat was becoming very dry unfortunately because I've been talking for oh a very long time <laughs> I've been talking for ages so I'm here now hello also to Tuan Nguyen Sun nice to see you as well there are many things to learn when it comes to learning English or any language so you have the words you start off with basic words and then you slowly build on those words every day I always say that you should try to learn maybe five words each day try to learn some new words every day Eduardo Mr. Duncan I have subscribed to your channel and I want to be back tomorrow because I need to improve my listening and writing and also everything I really want to speak like you thank you Eduardo I will be back with you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow live on YouTube 
I am normally here on Sunday Wednesday and Friday so those are normally when I'm here Sunday Wednesday Friday is when I'm here on YouTube tomorrow I will be back live in the studio everything will look a little bit more normal whatever that is <laughs> Qualby says I feel sleepy I will see you later and have a happy day I am happy to get some science about English from you you are welcome no problem maybe you can join me tomorrow Tran Pao is also going I have to go to sleep because now it is very late in Vietnam catch you later see you tomorrow maybe perhaps see you tomorrow the view is nice but unfortunately it is raining it's been raining all day do wo do -wo kamal says hello mr duncan you look not okay are you tired or sick i'm not tired and i'm not sick i feel great today i had a lovely long sleep last night so relaxing although i have been suffering from hay fever the allergy that i get every year from the plants and the flowers the pollen goes up my nose and it makes me sneeze so yes I do suffer from hay fever but it's not serious it won't kill me I'm okay I'm fine otherwise I am 100% healthy and well fighting fit I'm fighting fit I'm as fit as a fiddle I'm in the pink I'm as strong as an ox well let's not go too far let's not go too far mr. Duncan don't worry we will I will look for someone everywhere and all over the world says Jade okay if you find someone I have to come to the wedding if you find the love of your life here I must be invited to the wedding wherever you are in the world I must be able to come thanks for your company today I've had a lot of fun today I must admit it was a bit stressful this morning because the rain was coming down some of my equipment would not work so I, I had to to do a lot of things today to prepare this <laughs> hello to Saketh hello Saketh Saketh Ram Reddy who says I am I am Telugu I am a Telugu speaking person Mr. Duncan hello to you hello to Saketh nice to see you here today very nice Latif says you look good Mr. Duncan I'm not sure about that but I feel okay I feel very well thank you very much <laughs> what is your name Uge Louis asks what is your name what is your name my name is Duncan my name is Mr Duncan and I teach English I talk about the English language sometimes I talk about other things as well so that is the beauty of live streaming sometimes you can just come onto the internet and talk about many different things there are so many things that people are talking about at the moment yesterday we talked about freedom of speech yesterday we had a very long deep conversation about freedom of speech mm, very very deep and meaningful so yes my name is Duncan I live in England a little place called much Wenlock Tuan Nguyen is also going I have a feeling it is very late in Vietnam I have a feeling that many people in Vietnam are now going to bed so good night sleep well have a sweet dream study point what is the meaning of Duncan well my name actually originates from the Scottish word for brave warrior 
so it's actually Scottish in origin although I, I don't come from Scotland but my parents thought it was a good name so they called me Duncan and there it is also a character from William Shakespeare's Macbeth as well <laughs> unfortunately Duncan in Macbeth doesn't have a very good time unfortunately he comes to a sticky end mm. hello great teacher mr. Duncan Barong thank you very much it's good to see you all here today Fabian Sain says howdy my friend I hope you're having a wonderful time in England please take good care of yourself and remember to wear your mask and keep your social distance many people are not even bothering anymore a lot of people now are just going out they are socializing and they are not even keeping their distance so a lot of people now are not even bothering to do it I suppose I'm okay because I'm here in the countryside so there aren't many people here around me you see so I don't have to worry about social distancing here fortunately because there aren't many people around hello Ryan gaming hello Ryan gaming nice to see you as well Wow it's so busy suddenly hello to everyone on the live stream <laughs> I can't believe yesterday I decided to start a twitch account and I don't even play games I don't play computer games but I might try to have some live conversation videos or late or live streams on twitch so yes i might do that ryan hello ryan gaming nice to see you here today saeed asks where is your wife <laughs> my wife where is my wife that is a very good question <laughs> a very good question Luis Mendez says I don't follow football anymore because of football salaries and the corruption in football and the fanaticism yes well some people do believe that footballers football players are paid too much money for what they do so some football players might earn maybe 50 60 maybe a hundred thousand pounds a week can you believe that I wish I did <laughs> I wish I was earning sixty thousand pounds a week that would be nice wouldn't it and then I could be on here all the time I would never have to go away I could be here 24 hours a day with my live stream <laughs> unfortunately I'm not so I can't Eduardo mr. Duncan thank you for your time thank you very much it's really appreciated from us all you are welcome no problem it is my pleasure I will be back tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time 2 p.m. tomorrow so I hope you will join me then I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream I'm doing this as a little celebration because this month I will be celebrating my four years of live streaming on YouTube and of course I've been making videos for almost 14 years <laughs> believe it or not if I'm not wrong I remember that you used to live in China yes I did I spent many years working and of course living in China yes I did and I enjoyed it a lot it was an amazing experience and I, I did it many years ago where when few people were doing it of course nowadays when things are normal people travel to China all the time many people go to China every year but when I went to China many many years ago not many people were doing it so it was quite unusual at the time 
but yes i enjoyed my time in china and it was uh, it was very interesting i learned a lot of things about other people and also about myself it was a wonderful life-changing experience So, yes, I am doing some special live streams. I'm with you tomorrow with my normal live stream. And then I will be with you on Thursday, Friday, not Saturday, because Saturday is my day off. I have to have one day during the week where I have a rest. So Saturday I will be off, <laughs> but I will be here with you every day except Saturday. So not Saturday. I have to have a rest, you see. I have to get my beauty rest. Do you like the song by the Beatles called Yellow Submarine? That is a very old song, by the way. Oh, we all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Mr. Duncan, you are caustic sometimes. Caustic. No, that is my British humour. Some people say that British humour can be very sarcastic or very caustic. I think so. Sometimes, not always. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan, you are caustic sometimes. Maybe, maybe, but not always. Sometimes. A lot of people think that English humour is very sarcastic, but I don't think it is. I don't think so. But it can seem sarcastic. I think so. So that is one of the problems with British humour. Thank you very much, Banda. Thank you also to Feden. It's going to rain here for the rest of the week, I'm afraid. It's going to rain for the rest of the week here in the UK. Although having said that, it's actually stopped raining. Can you believe it? I can't believe it's stopped raining. <laughs> when did you meet Mr. Steve? <laughs> I, I met Steve <laughs> in 1989. 31 years ago. It's a long time. It's a very long time. So, yes, I, I've known Steve for many many years we met in the 1980s that's a long time ago for some people that is many years before they were born now i really do feel old what can you say about july when you had your special lessons in october I did do some special lessons last year. I did some live streams last year every day during October last year. But this year I will just call it July. <laughs> English in July. Where is Mr. Steve? He is now working in the office. He is sitting in front of a computer, staring at a big screen, doing his work, unfortunately. A bit like me, really. I'm standing here now in front of a screen talking to you. So we are actually doing very similar things at the moment. I will be going in a moment. I hope you've enjoyed today's live chat. Something different, something unusual. Some people might say something strange and weird well it's up to you if that's what you think it's up to you yes they have a very luxurious life footballers they normally have very luxurious lives because they get paid a lot of money they do <laughs> i think so <laughs> Palmyra says you should call your special live streams July with Mr. Duncan. Maybe English in July. I like that. Thank you very much for your company today. I will be going in a moment. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm very thirsty. 
so I will make a cup of tea for not only me but also his lordship he will he will also want a cup of tea as well so I have to make one for him too or else he will complain what did mr. Steve do when you were in China well he was still living here in the UK however Steve did come over to China to visit me because he was doing some concerts in Hong Kong so he did those he did some singing concerts in Hong Kong and then he came to me to visit me in China so yes we had a lovely time so Steve did actually come out to China to visit me and it was wonderful we took lots of photographs <laughs> Steve was really fascinated by the place I was living in he loved it thank you very much for your company it has been a nice time I've enjoyed today's live stream I hope you have as well thanks for your company I am back with you tomorrow 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow on YouTube <laughs> thank you TS thank you also arts B Ryan gaming what is your favorite game Ryan do you have a favorite game maybe you like to play the Fortnite or maybe Animal Crossing <laughs> I don't know what these games are by the way because I've never played them I've never played any of them <laughs> when I call Mr. Steve his lordship I'm being sarcastic so we, we do that sometimes you see so his lordship is waiting upstairs for his cup of tea <laughs> But we, we say that as a joke, you see, not really. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Duncan, for your messages and your comments. Thank you very much, Mohsen. That's nice. Thank you very much. See you later. I am going soon. I have to go and serve him. He who must be obeyed is waiting for his cup of tea. Artsby says i've only been here for a minute i'm sorry about that but i do have to go now i've been out here i've been out here for nearly i've been out here for nearly two hours standing here it's also cold as well so i have been standing here outside in the rain for nearly two hours i hope you've enjoyed this i will see you tomorrow don't forget everything is back to normal I'm in the studio we have some new words to look at and also we will be playing the sentence game tomorrow Ooh, bit of excitement there mr. Steve does do singing yes he's interested in singing he he for many years he used to sing with the the Birmingham choir they, they used to perform with the the Birmingham orchestra so there is a big orchestra the the Birmingham Symphony Orchestra I think it's called and Steve used to sing as part of the chorus with the Birmingham Symphony Orchestra and one year they went to Hong Kong to do some concerts and then after that Steve came to see me in China wonderful I enjoy his lessons a lot thank you very much TS that's very kind of you to say catch you later I am going now I hope you've enjoyed all of this a little bit different I've been here for one hour and 50 minutes one hour and 50 minutes that's quite a long time to be standing in the rain see you tomorrow don't forget 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow live on YouTube if you want to give me a like you can so give me a big thumbs up before you go and also if you want to subscribe you can as well you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you will never miss another one of my live streams ever 
Fabian Sain says it was my pleasure to be able to join you I will be back with you tomorrow can you guess where I am hmm. well if you are going to bed you must be maybe I'm going to say you are in perhaps I want to say Vietnam maybe or perhaps Japan so I think where you are it must be very late because now you are going to bed so maybe you are in Asia somewhere am I right or perhaps you are in Australia <laughs> I don't know is the answer to that question thank you very much for your company give me a thumbs up go on give me a thumbs up and then YouTube will will put my videos all over the site and then everyone will will get to share the experience of this catch you later thank you Jade thank you also Beatriz thank you very much a big thumbs up for Mr Duncan thank you thank you very much for your vote of confidence because of that I will come back tomorrow and do it all again 2 p.m. UK time thanks for your company thank you so much so many people I have to say thank you to it will take me another two hours to say thank you to you all <laughs> see you later thank you very much to grace vitas this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english saying thanks for watching i am going now i will see you tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time thank you ingles today I share your channel on my Facebook account thank you very much see you tomorrow and of course until tomorrow you know what's coming next stay safe stay happy I'm going to make a cup of tea for mr. Steve and me see you later alligator thank you very much Artsby thank you Borak thank you to you for joining me today and of course until tomorrow ta-ta for now